Colette in the book was a little more of, you know, the classic rich man's wife, you know, just, and I didn't really want to play her as that much of a, you know, a, I don't want to, I wanted to play her with with someone who actually fell in love with a con man rather than someone who wanted him for his money. Because I thought that that would make a more rich dynamic between the different characters. She's no dummy, Colette, and I think she turns a blind eye to what her husband does, but it's, it was also in a time when that was okay to do as well. Uh, well, I've, I knew um, Talented Mr. Ripley, and I knew of Strangers on a Train, you know, the big famous ones, but I wasn't, I wasn't aware of this, this book of hers. So uh, getting to discover that was, was really cool. Excellent. And obviously working with the cast, it's obviously um, yourself, Vigo, and Kirsten. Um, how was the relationship fostered between the three of you? Um, well, Kish and I have been friends for a while, so we finally got a project to work on together, which was really a lot of fun, and getting to go to these extravagant places. Uh, and then Vigo, uh, getting to know him, uh, and him not being what I expected. You know, he's very goofy, and he's funny, and, and he's, just, uh, he's just so much fun. And Haas is one of the most gentlest, uh, sweetest people I've ever met. So the whole thing was just more than I could have uh, wanted it to be. What was it like working with you know, so many great people? My God, it was incredible. It was kind of like a dream come true. I mean, it was also, I just feel so lucky and it was kind of surreal and a bit like a dream. Um, but I feel so lucky to have worked with them and there's three such incredible, incredible actors and people and I just feel very lucky. Mr. Dunleavy? No, no, no. I think you get the wrong one. I represent some very unhappy clients who invested their money with you. You gotta be more careful who you do business with. I thought you said no one would follow us. We gotta get out of here right away. We need new passports, new identities. I have a friend, he might know somebody that could help you out. You would do that? I'd certainly make it worth your while. It's not about the money. It's all over the news. If you turn yourself in, they'll arrest you as an accomplice. The truth is, we're joined at the hip. I get caught, I take you down. You get caught, you turn me in. You know, Kirsten is one of the most brilliantly intelligent people I've ever met. Actors, writers, whatever, I think. She's so intuitive, and, and she's almost like a radar for a bad line, because I could, it's one of the things I'd show her bits of the script, and she'd get, uh-uh, and sort of like cross out a line and stuff like that. So when someone's that good, it's a joy as a writer to have an actor who can help you make the script better. And they were all three of them were like that, to be honest. I never thought about making it for a modern audience, but I guess, you know, I think even though you do period films, it should never feel flat or like, you know, people had different ways of expressing themselves then. I, I think it's important to keep a vivacious feeling and, and very, you know, of people's emotions haven't changed over the years. How much did you know? Chester! Where did we? What have you done to him? Should have killed me when you had the chance. Now look at you, a real criminal. <laughs>